Welcome to this video tutorial on Lao Decide Info, www.decide.la. This video will focus on Decide's GIS tool. Only registered users of Lao Decide Info have access to this tool. Please sign in first or register if you have not already done so. If you encounter difficulties in registering, please visit our tutorial on registration. Decide GIS is an online geographic information system. The window in the lower left is where you can select individual variables from different datasets to display on a map. Click once on the small plus sign to expand the different categories within each dataset and to see all variables within each category. Double click on the variable of interest to select it for display by adding it to the maps table of selected layers. All layers in this upper window are displayed in the map window. The variable's title appears here, and its information is displayed on the map. The institutional source of each map layer is displayed by its logo to the left of the layer name, and by its name on the bottom right of the map window. If you wish, you can add several layers to a single map by selecting additional variables from the different datasets. What is on top of another layer in the table of selected layers is also displayed on the top of the other layers in the map. Typically, point layers, indicated by this kind of symbol, are displayed on top of polygon layers, which you can recognize by this symbol. You can now arrange these layers in the order you want them to be displayed on the map. These arrows here allow you to move individual layers up and down. Click here to remove individual layers from the display. This button opens a pop-up with the legend of the selected variable providing a short description and the key to the colors and symbols used in that layer. For each layer, you can adjust the layer transparency. Select the layer and drag the slider to change the transparency of the layer. Once you are done with arranging the map layers, you can make more room for the map display by clicking on this small arrow here to minimize these windows. In this toolbar, you find the map navigation and identification tools. Using the plus and minus magnifier tools, or the slider here, you can zoom in and out on the map. To zoom in to a specific area, use the plus magnifier and click and drag a square around the area you want to zoom in on. Release the mouse button and the zoom will occur. To zoom out, just zoom out from the current view. The full extent button displays the full map extent. To return to the previous map extent, click previous view. Next view brings you to the next extent if you went back before. The Move Map tool allows you to draw or pan the map extent. Alternatively, you can use these arrows here to move the map extent around. Note that the more layers you display on the map, the more time it will take to load while zooming. Depending on how fast your internet connection is, it may take some time to display the map so please be patient or reduce the number of layers. To get more information on a specific feature in the map, you can use the Identify tool. With this tool active, make sure the layer of interest is also active by clicking on it. Then, on the map, click the feature you would like to get more information on. A pop-up window will appear listing the attribute information for the feature you clicked. In this case, the name and codes of the respective village and the value of the theme variable which in this case is the poverty rate. The toolbar here provides additional functionalities, including exporting a map, making data queries and selections, and downloading data. To save your map for further use in other software applications, click the Print button, which will open a pop-up window. First, you define the extent of the map to export. Click Add Map Frame, which will add a rectangle to the map, defining the area which will be saved. You can adjust it by dragging the edge to make it bigger or smaller, and move it by clicking and dragging the area. The area framed will always be a square. When you're satisfied with your frame, click Next. In the following two steps, you can select one background, and if you wish, also an overlay theme from any of the currently displayed layers. 
First you select the background and in the subsequent step the overlay variable. In both steps, you will see a list with the names of the currently selected layers. Select one and click Next. Finally, you can add a title and a subtitle to your map. When finished, click Print to save your map in PDF format. This will launch a download where you can specify where you'd like the map to be saved to. Open the downloaded map in a PDF reader and you'll see the map with the title and subtitle on top. The legends appear at the bottom. Each map layer has a so-called attribute table, which you can access here. This will open a pop-up window with the selected layer's attribute table. The attribute table typically contains the codes and names of the feature and the values of the variable layer. You can download this table by clicking Save as Table. With the Query Builder, you can select features on the map according to conditions you can specify. Use the fields in the pop-up window to specify your query for the selected layer. First, select one of the variables of the layer's attribute table, such as the layer's theme variable, which in this case is the incidence of poverty, the last one on the list. To select all villages with a poverty rate above 50%, Select the greater than symbol in the second field and type 50 in the last field. Click Select and all villages meeting the specified condition will be selected and highlighted in blue on the map. If you would like to add a second condition, press the plus button to add a second row to specify the additional condition. If you'd like, for instance, to limit your above selection to Udomsai province only, you can specify the second condition as follows. Select in the first field the province name field, then the equal sign operator, and type in the third field the province name Udomsai. Since you want both conditions to be filled, select all in the match condition field before you press select. The villages meeting these specific conditions will be highlighted in blue on the map. When you now open the attribute table, you see only the attributes of the selected villages. Other ways to select features on the map are to do it directly on screen in the map display using the Select or the Freehand Select tool. With the Select tool, you can draw a rectangle to select features. All features of the active layer that are intersecting the rectangle will be selected. With the Freehand Select tool, it works similarly, except that you draw your polygon by clicking and drawing the polygon around the area of interest. Double-click to finish the selection polygon. The Zoom Selection button will zoom on the selected area. To clear your section, press the Unselect button. Selecting features is useful to identify where things meet certain conditions, or to select areas of interest. Selections can then be downloaded and saved for further offline processing. While in the main GIS window, click the Download button to download the selection in the active layer as a GIS shapefile. If you prefer to have the data as a table, open the Attribute table and press Save as Table. That's it for this tutorial on the Decide GIS tool. Thanks for watching.